Hello, this is Michael Carnes at Exponential Audio, and this video is a little extension to the primary video on 3D Link, and it deals with managing the high channels in RO3D. One of the unusual things about RO is its use of the top channel, the direct overhead channel, sometimes called Voice of God. Now, in any workstation, Pro Tools, Nuendo, any of the others, there really isn't a stem format that accounts for that. So what RO uses is the dot one channel. You will set up the height bus as 5.1 and then the RO panner knows to use the dot one to really carry the top center channel. Now I've set up this mix right now with a low 5.1 and a high 5.1 and I already have the panner set up. So if I roll move signal through here you can see on the channel strip meters you can see how the panner is taking signal through. So now I'm going to create a 3D link. I'll make a low reverb which will be let's say a 5.1 Phoenix verb. And I'll also make a high reverb that, at least for starters, is another 5.1 Phoenix verb surround. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to link them up. I'll name this one low. And I'll name this one high. And I'll link the two together so that we have a 3D link. And I'll link the parameters too. Throw a preset in there. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the high is still shown as a 5.1. Now if I pan something into the top channel, the overhead channel right now, it's going to be treated as if it's LFE information. It won't receive any reverb. It will just pass through. So the trick you need is right here in the little pop-up menu under surround format you'll see the choices that you had before the hard center and the phantom center but you'll see two new choices RO3D high and RO3D high phantom so let's choose high you'll notice right away that the LFE channel has been renamed VOG and if we roll some signal and pass things through you'll see that there is reverb coming out of there and I can move the panner around and you'll see now there's some dry signal in the top channel moves all through the field and just as in all other types of 3D link you'll see that there's reverb and early information coming out on all of the channels. Now this is the case in which you actually want reverb and early energy in the overhead channel. Now there are a couple of problems with that. For, for one thing, it's not really perceived as very spacious because the same signal is reaching both ears. Uh, it, you'll notice it if you tilt your head or rotate your head around. But in a lot of cases, the reverb really isn't perceived very well in that case. But it may be what you want. There's a second problem in that when this signal is folded down into a, a regular surround type format, whatever energy is in that top channel gets equally moved to the corners and then equally folded down to the low. So that what you really have is a correlated signal that's moved on to all of those channels and the overall sense may not be as spacious as it was when it was a true RO mix. Now only you know and it depends on levels and what your needs are. But we give you an alternate here in the RO3D Phantom. Now as you can see right away there is no reverb on the top channel or on the top center channel. Yeah, we can, we'll still have dry signal that goes there. There you see it in the top center and now we move it over toward the top channel. You can see there's still energy there but all the reverb is coming out elsewhere. So this means you can still pan a signal around. The dry signal 
will follow, the reverb will react as the place where the dry signal comes in, but no reverb actually comes out on those channels. Instead, there's fully decorrelated signal that's passed to all of the other channels of the mix. So when you fold that down, the only thing that's going to be folding down is the dry signal itself, and it folds down as I described before. But the reverb is already moved and decorrelated out to all of the corners, so you may have a more spacious sounding mix. But again, this is up to you. It's your choice. Try it both ways. As always, monitor in RO, monitor in regular surround, see what you get. And that's it. Thank you very much.